Hello everybody and welcome back to all the mod 6 to the sky. In this episode we upgrade our farm, specifically our mystical agriculture farm, by adding enchantments onto our pedestal upgrade to do a larger area and to bone meal a lot quicker. Also we create a bunch of other seeds, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, so, like we said last episode, we're going to be working on making this farm more efficient, because, if you remember, our thing only does a 3x3 tree tree area, so we need to increase that as soon as we can. And also, we need to set up a system of being able to put this Inferium Essence and our Essences up here, actually into our storage system. So that either being running a cable the whole way over, or setting up an Ender Chest, and then put an Ender Chest over here, setting that up to extract into our system. Or option number three is to make a transceiver and receiver and set that up over there as its own individual area for our uh, refined storage system. We'll figure out how to do that now in a minute. But what we're going to be working on is enchanting those uh, upgrades. So we need to start by making some books. Now I've gone ahead and smelted up a ton of that leather uh, from that. We've already gotten back up to like 400 rotten flesh. Uh, but I've got 160 something leather. So I can craft uh, a ton of books. So I need to go ahead and make myself an enchantment table. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make myself about 15 of these guys. So I should have plenty for that. I never actually thought of a location of where to put this. So let me figure that out. I might even put it in that corner. Um, yeah, I might put it right here. So if I just break this down, this was just they're creating dirt, but it's no longer creating dirt. You know what? Let's deal with this sylph. This sylph pretty much just wants us to plant a sapling and grow it. So I'm just going to do that for it now. So just grab a sapling and just grow it and he will explode. Quite literally. And boom. Gone. There we go. Now we can get rid of this fence post. And this tree. I was scared about vein mining after there for a second. That could have been this whole area gone. And then those guys will be free. But luckily enough, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Alright, so now using these bookshelves and everything, we can put down our enchantment table right in the center here. And now we can surround it with bookshelves like this. Um, I'm not going to go too crazy about where we're going to put these. But I think this should give us at least a level 30 enchantment, right? No, only level 28. Uh, okay, let me create two more bookshelves. So I can put them either side right here. This should give us a level 30 enchantment. Yes, it does. Okay, let's go over here and grab ourselves our actual enchantment. So I actually can't take it off somehow. So I'll actually have to break it. So let me grab my bucket so I can pick up the water. So bucket and I just grab a bit of dirt. And let's hope I don't do the same thing as before. Let's start with the upstairs. Let's break this. Let's pick up the water. Put this down. Uh, pedestal got absorbed. Pedestal down. Break this. And then bucket of water down. Okay, now we have the upgrade. We need to do the same thing here. Water down, and now we're okay. So, over to the enchantment table. I just need to grab myself some lapis. I should have plenty of that stuff. Yes, I do. So put that away, and I can put the bucket away, and now we're good to go. As you can see, I've gotten tons of levels since we have this thing going. And all I have to do is just stand nearby, and my levels just go up like crazy. What is that? It's like a little pixie or something in there. Something glowing. A little light. I think that's from the Mana and Artifice mod as well. Interesting. Okay. So in here, we can see pedestal area. That's the one we want. And, okay, it didn't give us any speed upgrade. That's kind of disappointing. Speed. Okay, these are the two I wish were together. Okay, well, I have so many levels, I might as well just make myself a grindstone and start again. So, grindstone. Come over here and just pop it down and let's disenchant these. And let's keep going until we get everything we want. Oh, okay, we, okay, we got level 4 range and area. That's great. I just need to get the same thing on this guy now. 
which seems to be a bit difficult because I'm not getting the option for four. It's always three. Uh, but because Apotheosis is in here, later on if we wanted to, we can add extra different bookshelves to this thing. And, ah, oh, speed! It will allow us to have a need higher enchantment than just level 30. So, just have to keep going until we get it. Area and speed, perfect. So, now we've got everything we need. So, just put them in my offhand. And, right click that one. And then we can do the same thing down here. I bet this guy picked it up. Yes, he did. And now we just grab this guy, put it in my offhand. Where'd it go? There it is. Offhand. Right click this there. Now you can see it's doing all of these guys. Look how fast it's going now as well. There is also another trick. Uh, I don't know if I actually showed it. Prob I probably didn't. Is if we grab some bone meal. So we have plenty of bones now. So we just grab some bone meal. If we come over here and put bone meal on this thing. This will actually add green effects onto it. And it will bone meal it. And give us a higher speed. Let me turn off my magnet. Look how fast these things are growing now. Almost instant. So if we had a way of being able to pump bone meal into this thing constantly. This thing could go incredibly fast. And the thing is. There is a way to put bone meal in this thing permanently. But I don't know how I'm going to do it above. I could do it easier here if I put the a block right here. And then just have the extractor right here. But. I'd have to see. But you can see how fast this thing is creating essence now. Right, so let's get to work. So we're going to actually make the transceiver. Or actually, no, we're... Nah, I'm still not sure. Do I use an ender chest or do I use a transceiver? Let's go to our refined storage. The benefits of using a receiver and transmitter is I can actually spread my network more across the island. So I can have a receiver set up over there and have that as one wireless access point. And I can put another receiver over there and have that as another access point. So I could, in theory, cover my entire island in an access point. But I'd have to make two of these guys, so I might as well do that. I might as well make myself a wireless access point because I actually don't have one yet. And I want to make myself a wireless crafting grid, which requires another grid, which is going to require another machine, a construction core, and a deconstruction core. And then I'm pretty sure I can make the actual crafting grid, or just a regular grid. And then I can upgrade that grid, and then I can make myself a wireless crafting grid. So then just shift right click this thing, and it already charges, but we have no terminal on it yet. And that's where I'm thinking if I grab myself a network card, make myself this network uh, receiver, which I need to make two of these, I need to make two more of these. And two more destruction cores. Then I can make one receiver. And one transmitter. I need one more advanced. Uh, processor. So that's no problem. Put you in there. Put you in there. That's already gone into the system. Okay. I didn't know you, you speak zombie villager. So now I can craft myself. My transmitter. And that's fine. So I can actually just have the transmitter in the ground right here. Oh, not right there. Over here somewhere. Probably right here. So if I put my transmitter right here, that's powered now. So if I grab my receiver and put the receiver probably like right here. Um, and then right click with the card. Come back over here. Turn on my magnet just so I pick up everything. Put my network card in here. And now, we've pretty much extended our range to over there. Just grab myself some cable. And I need to grab myself some range upgrades. Wherever they are. There they are. So, I... Uh, okay, I need to make a few more. Five range upgrades. There we go. Actually, wait. I do remember something. If I put this on top here. How far does this go? Oh! They've increased the range. Usually four of these things only go to 48 blocks. But just one of them is 48 blocks. So that means I can access my... I actually already have a bound to my S button. But if I was to fly all the way over here, do I still have access to it? I do. Okay, I don't even have to put this one down over here. So that's actually great. But in terms of being able to access this thing, I think I need to set this up like this. So... It means I'm going to have to route this cable like this. And over here, I'm just going to grab myself an import. K. 
cable, or actually I need to set this guy to two-way. There we go. So, uh, not an exporter, an importer. So I need more improved processors. Okay, let's go smelt those. So, importer, destruction core, import. Actually, I'm going to need two of these things, so I need another uh, destruction core. So, importer. There we go. Speed. I don't need speed. That should be everything we need now. So if we come back over here. And on this guy here. We set this guy to extract. So he's going to pull everything out. And put it into our system. Same thing up here. So now we have a way of actually just being able to. Have everything here. Get extracted out into our inventories. And we can still walk into our area here. Instead of. Actually no we can still fit through here. Cool. Can we fit in through here? We can. Okay so these walls actually allow us to fit through but it just means we have a hole now going the whole way through but i don't think that actually matters too much right let's work let's get working on some of these extra seeds so we want to make at least diamond seeds today and if we can some steel seeds because steel is going to be something very important now for next episode if we're going to be upgrading and compacting down our sieving system so if we can get steel today that would be great the only way I can really think of getting steel is if we go to mechanism and make a metallurgic infuser. So let's make one of those quickly and let us start making some steel while we're waiting. So metallurgic infuser, where are you? There you are. So I need two furnaces. No problem. So make one metallurgic infuser. Great. We'll just grab some coal and a stack of iron now. And I'm just going to plug him in over here somewhere. I'm just going to pop you here. Make sure none of the side configurations are on. You've got power. Off you go. Now let's start making me some steel. Now, let's get to work on turning all this inferium into supremium. So if we go to Mystic Agriculture, we have these infusion crystals. I want to make a master one. A master one's going to require a, a bit of supremium, as you can see. So I'm going to have to turn all this inferium into uh, prudentium, another infusion crystals. I knew I'd need two. Upgrade all of that. I actually probably need to make another uh, one of these crystals. I might as well use it all up. Uh, crystal. Uh, that's no problem. It's pretty cheap. Now let's upgrade this guy to Trentium. And now let's upgrade it to the next tier, which should be the blue variant. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Imperium. Now we have to go to Imperium. Now we go straight to in Supremium. Now we got 28 of it. So, we now need to make myself a Prosperity Gemstone. Then we can upgrade that Prosperity Gemstone into a Supremium Gemstone. And then using that Supremium Gemstone, we can make ourselves a Master Infusion Crystal. Unlimited uses. I'm just going to use up the rest of this crystal because we actually don't need it anymore. So, might as well use it up instead of just letting it waste up some inventory space. Perfect. So I'm just going to craft a lot of that in. I'm going to leave about 3,000 Imperium Essence left. So let's start from the bottom. Let's see if we can get through all of these seeds today. So wood seeds require just any type of wood and some Imperium. So one, two, three, four, and some wood. Oh yeah, we're going to need our blank seeds then as well. So let's grab a full stack of them. All right, so let's grab some logs, any type of logs. So four of those logs. Let's make our wood seeds. Pretty simple. Wood, 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 and wood. Imper Inferium Essence. Seed in the middle. Hit the button. Off it goes. I got another egg. Yeet. And we should get our wood seeds. Come up here. Let me turn off my magnet. And we can put our wood seeds down there. And it's now going to start bone milling. And we will collect it and put it in our system. Great. You know what? I can actually just stand over here and access everything. So, next seed, we can knock that off. Water seed. Water seed is one item I was kind of thinking we might need. So, I need my buckets. So, four buckets. And come over here and grab some water. Alright, so water seed's going to be this water agglomeratio. So, I should be able to craft four of them with all my buckets I just collected. There we go. Four of those. And do we just need regular inferium? We do. So, inferium, where is it? There you are. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And seed in the center and craft. So while that's crafting, the next seed we're going to need is coal. Coal is a tier two seed, so we need prudentium. So just grab my prudentium, some coal, and off we go. Now we can make our coal seeds. So one, two, three, four, prudentium. 
and then seed. No problem. Let's go plant our water seed. Water seed down. Now we got coal seed. Now the thing in the future is I would like to actually make a plot of land for each one. It's the same size as this, but one for every single seed. And we have two locations we could do that. We could do it here in the overworld, and I know it's going to cause a lot of lag in the future. Or we can set up a bunch, and I mean like a bunch, of compact machines with all these different seeds growing inside. Might be the best option. Alright, now coal seeds are done. Iron seeds. Iron is going to require trentium. I should have still some of that. Actually, no, I think I turned all that into the next thing. So, use this. And we can now make the next tier. There we go. Uh, I already have some. One, two, three, four. There we go. Grab some iron. I think it's just iron ingots we need, right? Yes, it is. All right, seed. Four of those. So, seed in the center. One, two, three, and four. Four iron. And go. Next one. Gold seeds. Same thing. No, we need Imperium. All right, let's make some Imperium. So Imperium is going to require this. I can uncraft one Supreme if I wanted to. Just grabs four gold ingots and a seed. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Craft. Now I can put the iron down in here. Come down here, grab my gold. Put my gold in here and come back down here again. I need to keep eating because this fall damage is annoying. I could make a night to counter counteract my fall damage, but uh, we will be getting to create a flight very soon. All right, diamond seeds. This is going to require the premium. So, do I have any supremium uh, left? Supremium, I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because I'm going to need some for emerald then as well. So I just need four emeralds and four diamonds. Three, four, and one, two, three, four diamonds. So, I can start with the diamond. There we go. Grab our blank seed. Start making diamond. And now we can start making emerald. So, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Put a blank seed in and craft. Come up here. And diamond. And I come back down here and grab emerald. So, that's actually pretty much nearly all the seeds done. I just need to make steel. Now, steel is probably nearly done. Now, I know I probably need to craft another stack of coal. So, let me grab another stack. How are you doing? You're halfway done. Actually, you know what? Cancel that. I just need to make four ingots of this steel, and then we should be good. So, I can actually just put all this away. Now, I think steel was the blue one. So, I need four of those. Grab four steel. That's one. Uh, do I have any osmium dust by any chance? Osmium. No, I do not. Uh, I'm not going to bother making speed upgrades for it just yet. Oh, that reminds me. There's one I might keep forgetting to make. And it's called a time in a bottle. I need to make myself a time in a bottle because this thing is actually very powerful. Having a time in a bottle. Wait, how do I have no clocks left? I don't know. Time in a bottle stores time. And then we can use that time to speed up some blocks. Which would actually allow us to, like, for instance, if we had some time stored up, we could use it on that induction smelter, not induction smelter, enrichment chain, metallurgy infuser. And we could have gotten ourselves this steel already. But, nonetheless, we have it now. We need to keep it in our inventory or we will not be able to store up some time. But now we've got some steel. One, two, three, four. And now we actually have everything we needed now for today. Wait, already? I did not expect to make this stuff so fast. The video is only 20 minutes long. Uh, probably even less if I ed when, uh, once I edit it down. Uh, okay. What do I do for the next, like, 5-10 minutes? Hmm, let me think of something. Okay, I couldn't really think of anything else to do. So I've decided, let's just continue making seeds. This episode is going to be all about making seeds. Because there's actually a couple of seeds here I actually would, would like. Some dye seeds would be great because I'm always looking for some dye. So if we just make some dye agglomeration, what do we need? Green, pink, and cyan. I need to... You know what? Give me my magnet for just a second. I want to filter out this. Because that is annoying. Okay. Now I won't be picking up this inferior essence anymore. So, we are going to require... 
ourselves some lime green, pink, and cyan. So if we look up flower, we need cyan. So just a bit of cyan. We're going to need some pink. And we're also going to need some lime green. Okay, so if I get myself a mortar and pestle, and we look up petal, we can just crush all this up, like so. Now we can go in here and craft our die. So, put that away. I need one, two, three, and four. Okay, perfect. And this is just going to require prudentium. Okay, so I need the second tier of dust, or essence. So, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. I need my blank seeds. There we go. And done. I might even... Oops. I nearly fell off the world. Uh, as you can see, we're actually picking up some of this essence now. And I don't want to. So, I'm going to turn off a magnet while I'm here then. So, seed. Done. Next seed now. So, next seed is obsidian. Because I actually don't have any obsidian. So, I'd like to have an obsidian seed. So, I think it's called tridentium. Uh, it, tridentium. Don't actually have any. So, one, two, three, four. And I'm probably going to need a bit more, so a bit, another four. Obsidian. Uh, do I have enough? I do. So I just need four obsidian. Perfect. So one, two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Blank seed. Done. Now we're done. Uranium. Ura uranium is another one that I kind of wanted. So if I go in here, uranium, do this. It actually gives me all the items. Okay, I forgot about that. And four is a premium. Blank seed. Done. Next one is Lapis. So, I should have everything. No, I do not. Okay, so... Wait, give me back to Lapis. I am going to have to upgrade this guy to this. So... Actually... You know what? Just give me this. There we go. So, Lapis. And... The... Imperium? Is that called Imperium? Imperium Essence, yes. There we go. Next seed is redstone. This is a tier 3 seed. So this should just need the orange stuff. I uh, don't have any more. So I'm just going to make... Actually, might as well make a full stack. I have plenty. Alright, redstone seed. Done. So, give me a new seed. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Craft. Next seed is quartz enriched iron. Because this is one seed I would actually like to have. Because I'm always running out in quartz enriched iron. There we go. Now, osmium is one other thing, because we actually aren't getting as much osmium as I was kind of hoping from our actual system. So, that's a good one to also pick up. So, we're going to need Imperium and some osmium. Am I correct? Yes. So, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And I lost my seed. So, give me back my seed. Just need one more. Place that. Done. Now let's go plant the rest of these seeds up here. So, just like this, no problem. Now let's grab our osmium seed. Yeah. Okay, this is perfect. But I would actually like this thing to go a little bit quicker. So let me grab myself an export cable. And where is it? There he is. Construction core. Actually, just make a bunch of them. Construction. There we go. Grab me some stack upgrades and speed upgrades so I need four of these what am I out of glass oh quartz and rich iron see this is why I say I always need my actual uh these seeds now okay so I should have everything I need now so I just need to make four of these that should be enough one two three how many of these can I make oh that's actually a lot all right, just one stack upgrade, and now just grab myself some bone meal. Uh, because now I'm actually going to set up a system to bone meal this thing constantly. So, put that on top. I can put bone meal and a stack upgrade with some speed upgrades. If I grab myself some cable, uh, I probably need to make a little bit more. There we go. And just hook this off the side here. There we go. And I should put bone meal down in here. And that should speed up the process of this thing exponentially so we have tons of essence now coming through so if i look up essence you can see we have gold water uh diamonds and everything and everything so that should be good 
So I'm going to end it there. I hope you all enjoyed. I know this episode was a little bit different than the rest. Instead of just doing a load of things, we focused on one little item, which was just making a bunch of different seeds. But, ah, you know, you can't fit everything into one episode. But next episode, we're going to be compressing down our sieving system and upgrading it to the next tier, which will be the compressed sieving system. And also, I have a little surprise on how to make our siv sievers, like sieves, auto sieves, run at 31 times the speed at all times. Well, but actually not probably all times, but I'll show you a little trick on how to make it go extremely fast. So, hope you all enjoyed. Hit that like button if you did, and subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye. <laughs>